All right, guys, I am here at the Hexagon booth number 3301 at MDM West. There is so much cool technology out here at the Hexagon booth. I cannot wait to share all of it with you. Stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of uh, new tools, techniques, and really the human side of Hexagon will come out today. Stay tuned. Uh, my name is Ivan Moreno. Uh, I work with Hexagon uh, showing off the VG software. And VG software is uh, software that helps us visualize and analyze computed tomography data sets. And it's utilized in all the industries, not just in the medical industries, but also in the aerospace industry. The software kind of looks like this. We can import multiple types of data sets. Uh, give me just a second. So we have multiple different softwares depending on the application. Uh, the software that includes everything is called VG Studio Max and we can import all sorts of data sets, all the way from CT scan data sets, X-ray, or any sort of image data set, as well as CAT models. We can import as well point clouds or any other sort of scanner, as well as we can use deep learning models to do segmentation in the software. And we also have simulations within the software that allows us to simulate real world geometries instead of simulating a theoretical geometry of a part. Sometimes we want to measure something in an assembly state or in a fixture state. We have the capability of performing that analysis digitally and automating the inspection procedure. How does Hexagon's technology, specifically this uh, technology, how does it impact the humans in the shops that, that would purchase this, this technology? That's a really good question. This technology and our software allows our customers to get a lot more information from their data. All right, so we are here with Greg Christensen of CMMS Radio. What is Hexagon to you? Hexagon, for me, reminds me about how they acquired Infor, which is a CMMS and EAM platform, and they worked on trying to take that to another level. It's commonly in my world used in situations where there's manufacturing, production, supply chain, etc., and they're leveraging the technology that Hexagon has to manage their assets, the equipment. Oftentimes you're going to see reliability engineers in those facilities leveraging that to track and manage. They're trying to design great maintenance programs to increase availability because when your assets aren't in operation, they're not available to do what they're supposed to do. We want more throughput. So you leverage that part of their technology offering at Hexagon to build that out. For me, Hexagon is one of the big, big players in the world of enterprise asset management and or CMMS. If you know how to use it and you have people that can help you use it, like some of the consultants that I know and the great reliability practitioners that I know, you can get dialed in pretty quick. All right, we're back at the Hexagon booth. I have found some really cool people here. Uh, I've got Raman and Patrick. What is Hexagon? I don't really know, man. I'm looking forward to knowing, though. Raman? I'm, I'm the same here. I don't know anything about Hexagon. All right, so with that in mind, we've got Taylor. And Taylor, you're going to give a quick rundown to these guys. Hexagon is an OEM supplier for a quality inspection. We do a lot of different things, but we have both hardware and software that we develop that inspects basically anything that you can manufacture. So from small scale, like down to microchips, all the way up to rocket ship bodies and airplane wings, we have a device that can inspect how it was manufactured and tell you whether you, know, you made it right or you made it wrong. We're talking like metrology dimensional inspection, right? So if you had an engineering drawing that had, you know, call outs with gd &T, linear dimensions, things like that, we would take those dimensions. We'd either use some sort of device like this where we can laser scan it or touch probe it or a little bit more higher accuracy machines. We have CMMs, coordinate measurement machines. They would take that data and we would overlay it with a CAD model like this where that gets compared and we can extract certain dimensions from it. And in this case, it shows a color map and you can see exactly where what you physically made differs from the design in you know CAD world. This is one of our other areas of inspection, but this is volume graphics. So volume graphics is um, a CT scanning software, an analysis software. It can detect voids and porosity inside. So you get like a CT scan of something. Hi, I'm William Poles with Hexagon. Uh, we're gonna talk about the product Vizzy. So Vizzy is, is made for the mold and dye industry. I can start, I got specialized tools for taking a customer part and designing either a mold or a die around it. 
so once I design that, and like I said, it has specialized tools. On the mold side, it has uh, automatically adding shrink values to the part, so I know shrink is part of the solid model now. Right now, they're just showing you the assembly manager, so when you design something, you can come in here and look at all the different parts. Uh, they got different commands in here to help you, you know, materials, descriptions. We can calculate weight automatically. You know, sizes, if you change a model, it'll automatically update the size. This is to really prep you for the bill of materials that you output to your purchasing department or something like that. Positive thing on this one is since it's an all-in-one, it saves money by not doing translations between departments of different file types. And we've actually proved it out that it actually can buy the software. Really? Yeah. By by you not having to translate and go to a different department and translate it into another software, That's awesome. we have an ROI to show you you can purchase the software from those savings. Hi, I'm Taylor Lewis. I'm an applications engineering manager at Hexagon. Um, this is our structured light scanner and more importantly, one of the newest systems we've released this year. This is our SmartScan VR800. The basic principle behind structured light is that it has a project projector that projects a set of known patterns onto the part and it's got cameras on either side that captures that image and we use it with a turntable to what we do what we call semi-automated inspection. So this will scan the part, turn, scan the part, puts all those scans together and eventually we capture the data, align it to a CAD model and are able to inspect anything dimensionally off of that. Whether it's surface profile, any sort of gd &T, any dimensions called out on, what, on an engineering drawing, we'd be able to capture that data. The really cool thing about this sensor that is nowhere else on the market is the fact that it has a variable zoom so any other structured light scanner that you see on the market today has fixed lenses so it can only see one set field of view that it can scan within this one can zoom into 160 millimeters and zoom out to 800 millimeters and get six different fields of view in between that so um, if you have small parts or large parts uh, you know on any other system which we also sell those systems as well but you would have to shut down the system take off the lenses take off the projector put on the different field of view that you need start it back up, wait for it to warm up, calibrate those lenses, and then you could start up again. 20, 30, 40 minute process, depending on the size of lenses and everything else. So the fact that we can just swap between them digitally makes this a very useful and versatile system, very quick for, for scanning, capturing data, and still very accurate. You have really high accuracy on these systems. Uh, first term accuracy for like a sphere measurement, if we were to compare that on a, like to a CMM measurement type deal, um, on the smaller lens set is like three to four microns and on a larger lens set like eight to ten microns somewhere in that range. Good afternoon my name is Scott Zanio I'm with Hexcon Manufacturing Intelligence. This is Cody Anderson he's on our software side. Um, today we're going to talk about one of our one of our latest scanners which is the uh, AS1XL on a Hexcon Absolute Arm. As you can see on the floor this has a very very large scan width take up to 24 inch scanning scan width about 1.2 1.2 million points a second what this does this enables me to scan this beautiful arch motorcycle that we have here at the MDM show to be able to scan very quickly and see the data so this enables us to measure large parts very quickly and what I'm also able to do is take off this scanner which is the AS1 XL this basically I can take it off and I can put on another scanner or another sensor and still stay in the same 3D measurement and get in the detailed part features with our other scanner, which is an AS1, and easily just quick swap of sensors without having to turn things on, turn things off, and just quickly run to the next feature. Yeah, so essentially when you're acquiring data with the hardware, um, the next thing is what do, you, what do you do with it? So our software, Metrology software, is Inspire. And essentially the idea behind Inspire is to create something that's easy to use and pretty much like something on your app, right? or like an app on your phone. So yeah, it's essentially we're bringing in the data and then what we can do with it, it's if you have a CAD model, you can compare that back to your CAD model um, to see if your parts are in or, in or out of spec. Yeah, so this is how many points um, in the current scan pass, so how many points are coming into the software. Hi, my name is Andy Flores. I am the sales engineer in responsible for stationary equipment. Um, I want to go and show you really quick. This is an Optiv, a multi-sensor vision machine. It could go ahead and do uh, scanning, you could go ahead and do video capturing, you could go ahead and do uh, chromatic white light sensors measuring with a laser a beam. Um, right now what we're doing, we're actually ca capturing it with the camera. 
Uh, this machine here, is uh, specifically, it's a 664, 600 millimeters by 600 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Wow. So you have a large capacity to go ahead of, of a measuring volume. Um, this is one of our biggest ones. We do carry smaller ones. We have a 322, and we also have a 443. So they do come in different various sizes. We also custom build them. What are we seeing over here on the screen? So right now, this is a PC Demis. Um, it is actually has a program in it, and it's going to go ahead and capture the parts. It's going to go ahead and tell us the diameter, the interior, and the exterior. So as you can see, it, it's going to go ahead and turn angles, and it's going to go ahead and go to the tool rack, remove the actual X1H, analog uh, scanning probe and it'll go ahead and change it to the chromatic white light sensor so right now it is adapting the cws and it'll go ahead and come back and it's going to go ahead and look for the profile it has an articulating probe it it's a two and a half degree angle probe head so now it is going to go ahead and project a little laser beam not visible to the eye unless you get up really close and it'll measure the actual profile of the uh, exterior um, surface. How does this technology change the lives of the people in the shops? That well, it, it replaces the hand-held inspection process. It's going to go ahead and be a lot more accurate. This is a, a one and a half micron uh, first term measuring machine as opposed to a hand device. It's going to go ahead and give you tents, sure. possibly, and it, it removes the error of an operator. Yeah. So now this is fully DCC. It's a programmable. You can import a model to it and program off your model. Uh, my name is Bill Cardozo and I'm CEO of Creative Electro. Tell us what Hexagon is to you. So Hexagon is an enabler, right? The Hexagon is that bridge between uh, the hardware we develop, uh, producing uh, images for computer tomography and the ability to show uh, and display and change the lives of our customers by allowing them to see what they could not see before. But how does it impact the, the lives of the people who work for you? The uh, adoption of computer tomography in our experience, in our existence, has transformed our employees and our partners' lives, right? By showing them what our customers are experiencing. Wow. That's huge for us, right? Because yeah. it all goes back to uh, being able to attach significance to what we do, yeah. right? So you can be uh, attaching a panel to an X-ray machine, or it can be attaching a panel to something that's going to change uh, the manufacture of uh, pacemakers. They're going to change people's lives and make them more reliable and more, uh, you know, basically a more significant tool for embedderment of everyone, uh, everyone's lives. Do you recommend buying Hexagon to people who are watching right now that may be on the fence about their transformation internally? Do you, do you recommend? I highly recommend them to call us for all your CT and Hexagon related questions, and we're more than happy to, <laughs> to offer Hexagon products. So I'm Ben Connors. I'm the director of the inspection services business for Nikon Metrology. So what is Hexagon to you? So our current relationship, or at least my, my team with Hexagon is a volume graphics product. Okay. So we use VG pretty much on a daily basis. Most of our customers that own our machines, most of my team that, that runs a system, after they do a scan, they're gonna do some kind of analysis or some kind of a, an effort in VG to look at that data. How have you seen Hexagon impact the humans within the manufacturing industry, specifically that VG product? X-ray and CT scanning, which VG is obviously an important piece right. of that. We really look at what are our customers doing? Is to x-ray or CT scan something is typically a critical need, yeah. right? A rocket that's carrying a human or a, an important mission. Yeah. Um, there's heart valves, defibrillators. There's different things that we scan that really, really matter. And obviously we use this tool. One, one example was, it was kind of interesting. Yesterday, somebody came by from a, a company that makes a medical robot. Okay. Right, so they they make a surgical robot, and about loosely 20 years ago, I gave my dad a kidney. Right. Okay. And their robot is who worked on me and him. No kidding. Yes. What is Hexagon to you? Well, it's a tool I use uh, pretty regularly, uh, considering I work in very early stage R&D. I use uh, specifically volume graphics. Um, and I use it as a method of rapidly prototyping and, and archiving all the different uh, 
designs that I do. Uh, well, I guess, you know, really it just allowed us to much more quickly troubleshoot and, and solve problems. I mean, things that used to take months will take weeks, sure. essentially, um, because of the technology uh, that at least Volume Graphics has developed.